to And Here's Modi. Hi, everybody. Uh, hi. Hi. What's up? What's up? Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to And Here's Modi uh, with special, special guests today. We have um, Jake Cohen. Hi. Hi. Ah. Wearing a shirt that says Master Braider and a beautiful challah on top. Naturally. Naturally. Um, those of you who don't know, Jake is a, a chef to begin with. And then his next, I think, adjective is mensch. And he does these amazing video. Known to me, obviously there's a book and all, but to books, me, plural. books coming out. Currently it's book, <laughs> yes, but yes, books yes. coming out. But he does these amazing videos where he cooks stuff. And it's so amazing how you can actually watch the whole, like when you see Julia Child, it's a seven hour event for her to make one piece of whatever she's making. Right. Jake, ha it, it's for anybody that's on like, like, Crack that needs it. Ding, ding, now. ding, 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 yes, ding. Add yes. the butter, add the cheese milk, add the this milk, add the that, mix it up, and a big smile with Jake in the kitchen. <laughs> it's so amazing how cooking shows have gone from like these long, drawn out. No, of, give it to me and give it it's to like, me. It's like this what you fast. need, add, mix, you're done. It's all you need. Amazing. And you kill it. You're so cute on these, um, on the videos. And you are, uh, and your book is amazing. Thank you. Thank your book you. is amazing. You have an old, you have a, a, a book that's already out. Correct. My called first book, Jewish. Jewish. Naturally. Like Jew and then slash ish, which is Leo. Um, <laughs> folks. <laughs> folks, try the veal. <laughs> and then, and there's a new book coming out and it's. Yes. It, I actually can't say the title yet. I'll tell oh. you all off. You know, about, TBD out, on the title. Right in time for high holidays. But I'm very excited for it. Okay. Do we need to do the prom upfront promo for yeah probably it's a good idea to do it now right let's do it right now okay so jake today's episode is sponsored by a and h provisions which is the best hot dog in the world i don't know if you do hot dogs or you add them into your recipes anybody that eats hot dogs and whenever we tell everybody i'm telling now that we are sponsored by a and h yeah they are best hot dogs of best course. hot it's the best hot do you, oh you've heard of them of course Did okay you not see, there was this um you know, uh, Hani Applebaum, um, busy in Brooklyn. Yes. She just did a, a video, I think, you making court dogs with them. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so there you go. So yeah. we're in good company. We're in there good company. Go. Good corn company, dogs. And they're glot kosher. Glot kosher. But they're so good that yes. even. Goyim realized that they're a, a notch above a regular hot dog. It's a little bit long. And you, but yeah. anybody listening to this <laughs> has an invite from Seth, the owner, to visit the factory in New Jersey. Uh -huh. to hate, you're all welcome to go. I'm not going. I was going to say, you had me until if it was Brooklyn, or maybe I no, 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 no. Right. I am into going. I will go. He refuses to go. And don't where, you? Where in Jersey? That could uh, be like. Whatever. It's the no, same. No, no. What difference does Jake. it make? Not it's far, Jersey, but you for Jersey. sure. Jake, do you have any good hot dog recipes? Maybe like I mean, a deli love, roll It's so funny because situation. It, it, it's the, I guess the term now is like Moses in a blanket because I always just still call them pigs in a blanket, uh, even though, <laughs> even though oh, no, one, no one who, no one I know including myself my family it's like a pig in a blanket is always an all beef kosher hot dog yeah but we still call them pigs in a blanket for some right. reason and so like the the jewish version i've heard is like you call it moses in a blanket but that always kind of weirds me out a little bit it's like yeah i think that's a little weird like, would, yeah okay like we're to wrap up our profit and bake them like no, <laughs> right. no thank you no, thank you so I don't eat meat anymore, but I used to be a voracious carnivore. And the only thing I wanted at my wedding was pigs in a blanket. Of course. I was like, I, and my husband's Israeli. And so when the caterer came, um, he goes, eh, she needs a pig in the bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of this episode. Love, love. Um, okay, so you're, so on top of all this amazing, first of all, you were with Katie, Katie Couric. Yeah. You did an event with her. We have a funny... They're, good, they're pals. They're pals, okay? I didn't know. Pals, I, I did not know. Yeah. I did not know. Um, I'm sure she seems very nice and adorable on, on the videos. We had an incident once when we, w we went to Soho House um, in Flatiron. Not Flatiron. Me meatpacking. Meatpacking. And um, Katie Kirk is checking in to meet somebody for lunch. We, we had just shown our membership. We walked in and she we comes We were waiting in. for the elevator. And all of a sudden she's standing there and she goes, hi, I'm meeting somebody for lunch. And the woman behind, the, the, the girl behind the counter was like, do you have, can I get your name? And can I get your, this, who are you meeting? 
and then it, and she's like, Katie was like a little bit, oh, okay. um, I'm meeting whoever she's meeting. Says, okay, they didn't leave your name down here. Oh, God. And, this, and then we walked over to un, to un, It was un, some poor, like, 19-year-old. Yeah, she had no idea who Katie Couric I goes, she's, uh, she's Katie Couric. You just Google it and let her up. <laughs> <laughs> just, what's your problem? Did you say that? I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, so just Google her name and let her up. That's and that great. was that. That's like our And then Katie. we shared an elevator. She's like, I didn't want to pull a Groucho Marx moment. What is it? What is it? Do you know who I am? Yeah, she didn't want to do the She's like, I, I didn't want to do the, do you know who I am? But she was very sweet. Very that's sweet. That's it. That's our Katie Couric story. That's our whole Katie Couric story. We'll tell it till we die. And we are, so the, uh, we, um, Leo and I are going to be sharing a house with you on a fire island for five weeks. I you excited to be housemates? It was, it was so beshared that this Beyond. happened because we ended up not knowing we were going to be at the same Shabbat at Kim Kushner's house. Friend and of the podcast. Friend of the podcast. She's been on here on an episode. Yeah. Incredible. Adore her. So we, I show up and Alex, my husband is out of town. So this is like. One Friday that I actually have completely free, no plans. She invites me to Shabbat. I'm like, great, let's do this. I show up alone, no expectations. I'm so high. I took an, I, I took it again. It's like I'm alone <laughs> on a Friday. Like, Litty, like, titty. And then they walk in. I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. And by the end of the night, I had, somehow it came up. I was like, oh, we just signed a, a share. We're actually, we have two rooms left. You should consider and Amazing. the next day, it was all set. And he's showing Leo the the pictures of the house, and we're literally sending the deposit. At, yeah, I was at Venmoing the at the Shabbat like, table. How much do you want? Oh, this is a God. stunding house. In <laughs> the Shabbats round. are going to be incredible. And, no, and, and he's still like, so everybody has like everybody has these things like for their house. Um, has to have a great jacuzzi. Has to have a great pool. Has to have a blah, 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 has to have this that da da da. He's like, it has to be have a kitchen to make Shabbat dinner. That's it. I have to. It was oh, the most I important thing was Shabbat so dinner. Hamish. So Hamish. That's but, it. But did you guys know each other before that? Yes. yes. Or did like, you meet at the party? No, we met at City Winery because we, we were Briefly, in, in, yeah. internet friends. It's always the internet friends. And That's they, how I met Kim, Kim Kushner. And one thing you learned from Kim Kushner is never ask who's going to be at the Shabbat table. Yeah. Really? Well, oh, never just, ask that question, I feel like, in, in general. general. In general. It's so tacky. Unless, it's a little tacky, Unless yeah. you've been burnt at that Shabbat table, and yes. then you can do that. That's fair. But it's funny because I have a friend who is tacky, and he <laughs> always... Is yes, everything. He's like, who's coming? Never. He needs the full. And I was like, no. shut up. You, I, you, like, I know you are going to like people who are coming. You said something interesting about when you do Shabbats of like you take a mental note of all your no shows and you they blacklisted. Oh, uh, no yes. Yes. Could you imagine no showing a oh, Jay Cohen Shabbat? That's right. The Leo was floored by this. The audacity. Yes. Dead to me. <laughs> Dead to me. Dead to me. I don't think you're no one. show to Jake's event. No, it's like no, it's a, that's. So rude. So rude. For anything. No, because it, you do big Shabbats. Like, it's like, how many Shabbats. people? Again, it depends. It depends on the vibe. If you truly, I would probably send you a really nasty text <laughs> if you, like, no show to, like, a 10-person Shabbat. But these are slightly bigger ones. Yeah. Like, but even still, it's like, you committed... I only invite so many people and create a cap because yeah, my right. husband gets so stressed when we when it becomes too, like, crazy, crazy. Because it's not like we... We, we do this all ourselves. Yeah. It's not like I have a production team or all this well, stuff. Well, that's like, right. what we're going to talk about. You should get one of those immediately. Of course, of course I should. But it's like, I don't know. I like, I think it's just, there's something, I just want to be that balabusta that like does it all. See, I want a person standing next to me just like cleaning up like every move I make. We, 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 if we have over eight people, we invite our housekeeper to, to, that to, we, to we just stand that just to do it. it. But our Shabbat dinner... But we're dinner, not cooking. No, 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 our Shabbat dinner <laughs> She's is... She's taking out of uh, the takeout. No, out. that's only when we cook. So Leah used to make salmon, but now we just order... Uh, that's my one thing, There folks. was a salmon. Salmon and, and brown rice, and I was the happiest guy on earth. Got you through the um, pandemic. And But but we now... We do Shabbat dinner. We make a kiddush and the wine, but then we order sushi. These massive plates of right? deep, amazing, top-of-the-line sushi, <laughs> kosher style, and people are happy as hell. This is a Shabbat dinner that's... Intensive. It's intensive. Yeah. He's sitting there cooking and yeah, adding yeah, yeah, the yeah. butter and mixing and with the whips and all that uh -huh. stuff there that they go, cook. There you go. And, and then you don't show? No, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. outrageous. I think the old, so then there's only one other thing that's been coming up a few times. I don't get what's going on with people, but about an hour before Shabbat, I'll get a text saying, it's okay if I bring my dog, right? Oh, oh no, no, you said no, this no, to no, oh no. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> oh. The answer is no. no. Immediately also, no. And the funny thing is, the is, my, is no. my, my mother's a vet, and so we always grew up with animals, and when I tell you, it's like, 
what food is for me, animals are for my mom. Like this is her, since her entire life this is all she's ever wanted to do. If she, if she lost her license, she'd be like a, a vigilante on the street, like spaying and neutering oh dogs. God. Like this is her passion and her everything. And I don't know. I think it's like and you hate animals. No, I hate animals. <laughs> I, I honestly think that's why. Uh, is it like, hate or is it? I just don't. I, no, I think, it's, it's, I think it's New York. I think it's just in New York. I yeah. just don't believe that animals are meant for the city. One hundred percent. We are, we are, we, we are with you, and we love dogs when somebody else has them. And but they that's chutzpah to invite your dog to someone's house. I, wow. I've gotten. So I've what do you say? I'm, I'm I'm deathly allergic. I'll no, drop dead right here in the kitchen if you bring this dog. Yeah, I do say that I have allergies. And also, I just sometimes I'm like, no. First of all, that's such a no. liability to like be like, sure, bring your dog into and my then, house where all these people are going to be. It's like, it, like, or then it jumps on the table. And it's like, First of all, big... everybody is going to listen to this. So you they be like, oh, he's not actually allergic. Oh, no, I am allergic. <laughs> I'm just not like deathly allergic. He's not allergic. But he doesn't want your dog there. I don't there. want your dog there. He doesn't like, want your dog there. there. I, I think, think it's also, it's yes. like now I'd rather them listen to this podcast and hear that and stop sending me the test out <laughs> say, like, that's uh, it. Uh, uh. I don't think you need an excuse to say no. It's like, no, you can't bring your dog. It's just, I think it's it's the, the way that they try to like get in. And yeah, at the last second. We, we, had, we, had, we had a very interesting Shabbat dinner. Not this, sh past Shabbat, the Shabbat before. Where a guest... We? Where were we in Newport, oh. California? Oh, are we gonna do this? I think so. Okay, I think so. I wanted to talk, but I want to talk about his Shabbat that he did with Alex Edelman afterwards. Oh, okay, so do that. Yeah, and then we can get to Newport Beach. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. What happened? With, yes, tell us. Oh, you, you did. Well, you have to come to the next one. Um, Absolutely. But, so, I'm waiting for an invite. I followed yes. them on Instagram. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so gonna send them this, a DM. We have no, no, no. So we have this this little Shabbat group. Um, it's not little. I've seen it. Don't lie. It's. It's a, so this last one was a big one because I was, it was a funny thing is they're going through it. And it's this, it's myself, mm -hmm. Alex Edelman, mm -hmm. um, Judy Gold and her wife, uh, Benj Pasek, the, the playwright and Shoshana Bean, the, the Broadway yeah. actress. Yes. And Alex and I then got asked by the Stryker Center. They're doing this thing called Friday Night Hub, which is all about like, um, getting young people to like a Shabbat, like a big Shabbat that looks nothing like it. And yeah. it's like David Rosa's performing like a rock concert of right. all of the, the right. prayers. And it's, it looked very cool. It's incredibly magical. So Alex and I did the first one. Now Benj and Shoshana are hosting. When the you did one. Alex perform, Alex does a little set at the end. Like couple, okay. he did a couple of minutes, but, and then I curated the menu and then Cute. It's, it's like afterwards, everyone's like, Eating and that's so nice. How that's many people so were nice. there? It's like about a thousand. It was like a, wow. over a thousand. Oh my um, god! I mean, Stryker Sick. fills you know. up a room, and it's crazy. And crazy, I was crazy. invited. To everyone, no, invited. everyone. Ashanda, it was open. It was like free you've tickets. never. Everyone's invited. Posting about it. I, um, but the next info one's, at modilive.com uh, to to the Friday after next. You guys should come. The Friday yeah, after Friday next. after next, I believe we're booked, Jake. But I'll get back to you. <laughs> I'll have my people call your people. We do have Shabbat on the books now. We have Christ we have Christmas, five oh. Christmas Eve Eve oh. Erev Erev Christmas Eve Erev, Erev, Erev the 24th. Christmas Eve the twenty third is Shabbat. Oh right, and we're doing Shabbat together. Oh, in between the shows. Yes. Did you know about this? Yes. He's, you he's didn't tell me about this. Yes. To it's in me. the calendar, <laughs> folks. The one with the font so small I can't read. Uh, hold on, let me <laughs> no, just check. No, that's so amazing. This. In in between all the Christmas shows. Yes. yes. Look 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 look. Holidays. Jake Cohen dinner. There Friday the 23rd. I Amazing. Have it and we also have on the books five weeks five in the weeks summer. Five weeks together. When I tell you, it's going to be. I can't you wait. That's like, you're all on vacation. Well, not on vacation, but like you're there and, and, and you get to work from your computers and stuff. It's like, my job is like, I'll be cooking. So this is going to be like nonstop food. So I'm not working. <laughs> He's on the computer. I'm we've not been, working either. We've been with people like that. We 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 had people in our house that like were, we're finishing work, work. a dissertation. Like, we had one guy finishing a dissertation <laughs> That'll uh, be my on husband, mushrooms, my husband and then the working. and then the we, we had a friend, our lawyer Lucas, who was like battling the, the ping pong emails with yeah, like yeah. mergers and acquisitions yeah, at the and table. Then, and I'm like, hey, who wants to go for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a walk. I'll go to the pantry. Anybody need something from the pantry? Um, but that's Fire Island. It's going to be very fun. And I'll be your sous chef. I cannot wait. Cannot I can wait. chop. And your job, we have, we still have one room left that I, you know. I, for you the know, full. For the full house. Okay, we'll talk about that and afterwards. I know who, it's, I want you to bully. Who? Michael. Michael H. Hoffman. Oh. He's going to be on the podcast next. So he's we'll next. Get a, yeah. yeah. Mm, I want you to bully gonna, him. Especially okay. because like now he's like, it's a couple. So it's just like really, it would just like. Vibe it. Yeah. You understand that he's in fifth gear. 
I know. Twenty four seven. No, I know. But but, but fun it fifth like gear. His but boyfriend fun... is. No, I only met him once. But it's no, like, yeah, they're, no, they're very nice. They're be- adorable, sweet, and uh, amazing. Obviously, everyone listening has no idea who we're talking we'll about. We'll have a process so after the, such, after the it's show. It's more so. It's about like when you're curating. We're creating real world. Like all, all Fire <laughs> Island homes are. It's like your own personal it real is world. So it is. And it's true. It's true. Like we're, we're gonna take a bunch of people, throw them in a house for the whole summer. Um, sometimes they're cameras, but most of the time not. <laughs> um, and and we're just gonna like make them live together, which is so interesting because it's in like this. Well, you've never done a Fire I've Island never share. Done a share. This is gonna be our third share. Yeah, I'm excited. It's Are you guys fun. gone for five weeks straight? No, 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 no. It's it's a, a week a month. A week a month. A week okay, a month throughout the summer. I was gonna say I was getting yeah. a little bit concerned about the podcast. <laughs> no, we'll no, be, we'll be no, fine. no, no. And plus, it's like you have the whole week, but you most of the time I have a gig here, but gig there. So, what do you mean a week a month? So it's Thursday to Thursday. So the ideal you're there Thursday to Thursday, but you come for the weekend, you have to leave Monday for a thing, you come back, you yeah. do this, you do that. So five weeks. Like a, a week in May, May uh, June, June right, July, July right. usually two weeks in August. Yeah. We're doing okay. Labor Day, yeah. we, which is great because right. that's like the last week before my next book comes out. So it's going to be like the like final hurrah. Oh, and then I, wow. And then I go back to wor- actually working. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, Good. speaking of working, we were working a lot. Mm-hmm. Modi was working we a lot. We had a crazy um, week. Um, we were in Newport Beach, LA for four shows, and then we were in Vegas for a, also a crazy no, show. Newport Beach, then LA for four shows, and then Vegas. Yeah. But in Newport Beach, we were invited to the Shabbaton. Of course. Those of you who don't know, it's a Shabbat that people invite uh, get invited to, and it's a, um, it's a Shabbat that you're all together. So there's this woman. Uh, we can say her name, right? Let's not. Let's not. She's in, uh, she is very nice. One hundred percent Mashiach energy. I love her. She's the best thing. She's from um, South Africa. Due to circumstances, she lives in Newport Beach. She, if you when you meet her, you think she's like, she should be living in Ranana or Herzliya. She's everything you talk about. Oh, it's Jewish, Jewish, Jewish. And I live in Shabbat Town, Shabbat Town, Shabbat Town, and all this stuff. And she invites eighty of her f- close friends to this Shabbaton once a year. She brings the Chabad Like the only rabbi. Jewish people in Orange County, apparently. Right, like these, like, well, look, it's a group, it's like a little bit of a, of a, um, eclectic group? Ecle- not eclectic, but like her society. Okay. It's society-esque, and she brings the rabbi Waspy from- Waspy Jews. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes yeah. and no. Yes and no. This is at the waspiest place in so the, the world. So she brings the Chabad rabbi from Irvine, and she brought this other rabbi from Brooklyn to speak. Uh, YY, his name is, and I'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, and 80 people, and, and it's in her yacht club. It's in, where she has a yacht parked, and she has, the rooms were amazing, all facing the water. The most Goyosha looking families just coming and going, and Shabbat's happening in the middle. She had the room for the services, she had dinner, and it's she like a had a Pesach program. It was amazing, and merch. Yeah. The cutest merch. She had essentials, right? And she said, Shabbat is, and she was essentials. Adorable. Bags, like nine bags in every room. Bravo. Yeah. And then the Friday night, Friday sick. night, I, I took a fat edible, yeah. went to uh, the services. She had a choir. I was in heaven. I was in the room. Singing Carl uh, Bach songs. I was, in, I was so happy. We go upstairs and there's a, a big uh, dining area with there's tables. And Leo and I are in this one table in the center of the room. And there's like two Israeli couples. Out of central casting. Yeah. If you need to, two Israeli couples that look, again, what do you do right away? Credit card processing, like that kind of Israeli. And, um, and they knew who I was. They followed me on Instagram. They all knew. And then um, Leo comes in. So they're like, oh, wow, we're sitting with the entertainment. It's so exciting. I watch you this. They show me a cameo I did for them. Oh, my God. It was and we're so in the, exciting. We're in the middle of the room. We were sat, assigned seating in the middle of the like, center table. So it's us, this, this two room. Israeli couple, this other couple, and then this Russian couple that's like a little bit awkward. A wild card. A wild card that somebody, in, in, somebody asked if they could invite. All right. So I sat next to him, and I left a seat here for Leo to sit next to this pretty woman because just way that's something less that could, uh, you know, just so, something easier on Leo. You talk to me as if... No, I'm just saying. It was just <laughs> like, I didn't want you to have to sit next to this guy. Anyway, 
For good reason. Everybody's like happy, and, and then, then their friends are coming over. Oh my God, we should be at this table. This is the table. But like, yeah. Then the Russian guy turns to me, and we all, what, what, what are we all drinking? And there's this, that, that. And the Russian goes, This is my seventh bourbon or oh whiskey, God. some brown, angry looking drink. Red flag. <laughs> Red nasty, flag. Nasty, like nothing, nothing yeah, there's not, yeah. nothing simchadik about it. There's no, <laughs> no lemon, there's no nothing <laughs> happening. It's a horrible brown looking, like turpentine he's drinking. <laughs> So then Leo, then Leo comes, sits down, and they all, who is this? I go, it's my husband. And they, now it's like the entertainer, and now it's also, it's also the gay table. So <laughs> Oh, the other Israeli couples were gay? No, no. But, oh. we're, but like the only, we're the only gays in the place. Okay, and like, yeah, yeah, boom, yeah. wow, it's the, oh my God. Then the Russian guy turns to me and goes to me, who, who's this? I go, it's my, it's, it's my husband. He goes, do you know in Leviticus it says, Man shall not met, lie with manless men with, with women. Um, it took everything he had to say that. And then he hits, it's abomination. And boy, was that a heavy lift That for was him. a heavy lift for him to get that word. I was proud of him that he got that word out. So, okay. So now that's, so I thought he was like, and it's great that you're so, but no, no, no. He's like, so you two, you two guys, you, you know, you, you're fucked up. So then Leo turns and says to him, do you know that in Leviticus, it says you can't mix linen and wool, the shotness. And I don't know where Leo pulled this from, and this guy had Veggie no tales. idea. Yeah. I knew it! <laughs> oh my God. And Leo had no, and this guy had no idea like what that even meant. He goes, I don't know what that means, but you two, you two are, are fucked up. So Leo calmly gets up and goes, do you wanna go outside and I'll fuck you up? But then Leo That's said, like all the, "Did you the, say that?" I've been seeing the videos of the the, the straps. I you've said been putting that on. to him. Yeah. I said, "I'll fuck you up." No, so then, and then Leo gets up and amazing. tells the table, "It was really nice uh, meeting you all, but you have a big homophobic guy here at your table, and we're gonna leave." Which, by the way, best thing ever. Of course, <laughs> and yeah, then the, I didn't want to see. The, it I, was, was fun, and the food was. How much never. small talk uh, can you hunger, make? Never, food, never. A kosher food when, in Irvine. When have you ever been to this crazy big event? And like, <laughs> so oh, we go. <laughs> so we go downstairs to the. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous um, yacht club. Yacht club. We go to the to the to the dining area. We had a lovely salmon drinks, and now obviously, how do you say it? Hmm? A tizzy. Oh, a tizzy ensued. A tizzy ensued. Because when we got up in the middle of the room, well, calmly, and just walked away and left. After Leo said to the table, I'm so sorry we're not No, I said here. it was a pleasure meeting all of you, but unfortunately you have a big homophobe at your table and we will not be joining you for the rest of the meal. I okay. love you so that's much. So, so sh like, the so, fact that you, so the fact chic. that that's how you followed up, I'm going to fuck you up. And then it's like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, no, I, I'm I, just so happy. Of course, I'm still on this edible. Of you course. understand? So all this <laughs> thing is all, I'm like, oh, please, God, I hope it really was vegetables. I hope yeah. it doesn't flip this table right now. No, I was um, like, I, like, it was either that or stab him in the neck. Oh, my the, God. The final payment came already. Yeah, so we were already we, paid, we already at paid. This point. We're done. That, that was right into the account. Anyway. We go down to eat dinner at the at the at the this restaurant. This is Friday night dinner. Modi's supposed to be performing Saturday night after Shabbos. Right, but at I was going to be a part place. of Shabbaton. Yes. They have a choir. There's a rabbi. There's a Shabbat. That's, like I'm, fun, in. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm yeah, in. Yeah. Okay. We so now we're in the in the restaurant and the party planner comes over. One of the like nine party planners she has. She's like that with the clipboard and Which Leo, I have a thing for yeah, party planners. Leo is obsessed with party planners. So now Leo's conflicted. No, so now <laughs> I feel <No>. safe. <laughs> so she, she sees us and comes over and goes, and she goes, I'm so glad you're still here. <laughs> like she thought we just left. And she goes, is everything okay? I'm so sorry about what happened. And we're like, what's well, completely fine. And it's like, we're here and I bet this food's much better than upstairs. And they probably need a little drama up there. Yeah, it was the best thing we, best I, thing first, I felt bad happened. at first, but I was like, Modi, we did them a favor. That, like, they had what to talk about at least. That's like, it. there's only That's so it. many times you could go around the table being like, so when your kids go to school? Uh, yeah, did your kid get into Yale? Ugh. Um, so everyone's they, a little Bravo moment. So they, so she's True. like, whatever you want. And, and then the next day we, we didn't go to any of the events, obviously. And at lunch, the woman who's throwing the event comes over. I am so sorry. I can't believe it happened. I don't know who they are. They were invited by somebody else. But this guy threw a grenade onto his social life. Like he's not getting invited like anywhere. Like this Russian Good. guy. Anytime and soon. Good. 
And, um, and, uh, and I said, no, 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 don't let them, don't make them leave. And I'm completely fine. I'm going to do the show. And the show was great. And it was amazing. And then we all hung out with them upstairs afterwards. And this woman does so much charity. She's absolute Mashiach energy. She's Mashiach energy. She, and she, the, it was an amazing event. And it was great. It sounds it's, like you handled it absolutely beautifully. You guys also probably looked so chic. I know. You're probably so well dressed. No, nah, we the, served. Uh, it was Menchi. Oh. Like the way you handled it was exactly what, what did you we serve. Oh, I, I served the cute look. Yeah, no, we served I'm looks. Sure oh. you, I'm sure. And then we just left. But well, I, like you said, like people are looking for their Bravo moments. Like when they, when they are searching for drama, which happens, like because most people they don't live no. lives that that give no. them no. that, and they watch it yeah. on TV. And they're like, oh, what am I missing <laughs> in my life? Why am I not like absolutely constantly getting wine thrown in my face? And then they look for it, and it's sad because it's not like what you should be aspiring for, but that's... Have you, have, you, have you ever had something like that happen to you? I mean, I think there is never a world in which I put myself in a situation where there's that's even a remote possibility. Yeah, really? but we didn't know. think that this was a possibility. We didn't think this a possibility either. That's How fair. dumb could somebody be? Though I'm itching for it. I've to, Alex knows that, like, like I want to fight. Like I want to fight. fight. Well, because we're like when you get into shape, like it's like what, what the fuck? <laughs> why are we doing this? If it's not and and it's and it's like it's oh, not just wow. a fight. Wow, is for that no why reason. you guys get into it's shape? It's a fight for to, look at to those arms. Jake wants to. to I want to defend someone. my husband's honor. I want to fit into a suit. That's hot. That's it. That's hot. I want to fit into a suit. Well. Well. I want to. I and Alex knows. Someone call Jake a slur next time you see him, so you can punch in the face. I'm also. No, you have to call my husband a slur. Call me a slur. Be like, yeah, you're right. Um, but it's like the the big thing is like I'm very aggressive. I'm a, like from That's here. Hard. So in public, you're aggressive. I, it doesn't seem that way, but like on subways, on places like that, oh. I'm aggressive. And I learned this trick from my uncle, which is like it's oh, so tell bad me, tell me, tell me. big falling out. So actually, like most of the family doesn't. My mother and my sister do not speak to him. Um, but he is very much like Wolf of Wall Street, like finance guy from New York. And whenever someone like gets in you or starts getting angry, you just start like barking or like gibberish. Like, Hurr! you just like, <laughs> whatever they say, you repeat it back. It's like, Hurr! and they just don't know how to react. And it's the best. I do it all the time because there'll be instances. There was this one time on the street where we're trying to figure out what we're doing or going. And this woman's coming by. And she's like, get the fuck out of the center of the sidewalk. And I was like, or you could walk around because like that's just it's one thing it's like oh excuse me right. and, 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 oh yeah i'm so sorry let me get out of the way yeah, so what do you do you say but but you start barking at like starts <laughs> angry so she was like you go around she's like or you get out of the street like or oh, you could go around and then you start making voices <laughs> and the noises oh and then they just walk away because like what are they gonna do what are they gonna do no one wants to the thing is people want to fight angry but they don't want to fight crazy Interesting. I, I, so I've heard something similar to what you said, but if someone is is looking to get confrontational, start hitting yourself, like start like punching your chest or like hit, slapping yourself. Oh my and god! Then th that scares people. That's, of that's a crazy. That's, that's, crazy. Like, that's crazy. If, they, if they're crazy. gonna hit that's themselves, crazy. I don't want to fight you. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really still stuck on Leo looking at this fucking Russian guy and going. Or I could fuck you up. No, I said, he it so he said it so calm. No, he was like a normal. He You're, probably could have fought me. Like I wasn't like. He was okay. on seven. He was not. He was on his seventh whiskey. Like, and he's Russian, so but he probably I said could it in handle like one it. breath. I was like, <sighs> yeah. He's like, well, maybe I could fuck you up. He goes to him, and, uh, and I don't usually curse on this podcast. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, but this I, is just I, factual. I just me. They all curse here. Like, it's not. Um, but it was so. I was like, oh god. I, I, in my my mind, my my mind, like. I see, I'm seeing the woman who's throwing this event. I'm like, I don't want to ruin this event for her. And I, I don't want this table to fly up in the, the air. I had the fleeting, fleeting. No. So, but we walked you, away. You said to take it outside. If you punched him in the middle Amazing. of this event, it would have been, that would have No, been so this over. is what happened. When he said that, I said, I'll fuck you. I made eye contact with him. After said, he gave him shotness. After I gave him shotness. Do you even know what shotness is? I have after no I idea. gave him Leviticus and he couldn't give him, me more back, I was like, okay, so you're too dumb to debate. I'm just going to have to fight you. So then I, I looked at him in the eye and said, I'll fuck you up. And I stood up and I walked outside. And then he didn't follow me. And so no, I, he did. That's not, he wasn't even thinking that you wanted to fight. You I was ready to fight. Away. And then I walked around the back of the table. I took a deep breath 
I went around the back of the table where everyone else was sitting, and that's when I said, I'm sorry, I'm we sorry, won't be joining you for the rest of the meal. I could also imagine you just, like, picking somebody up by, like, No, he's a big neck. guy. He was, I know. nah, he wasn't a big guy. He was just a he Russian. He was a Russian, like, brute. No, he's on the Russian, he wasn't, like, like Stan. He no. was by a regular. By the end of the show, he's going to be Zelensky. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> not. He's, like, a short man little, strength. Oh, no, he had that Russian, but he had that alcohol on him and the wife. I don't know. The it turpentine. Was just, anyway, like you no, said, but he, it's a he, good he, reminder that, like, there are these people people out there who just like are angry and think they're better than yeah. you and you have to be ready to just you have put to be them ready in their place i'm also i think what you did was like that's the that is it was very chic you did a lap and i think that's the biggest thing i've gotten very into stoicism over the past year which is and it's just like about keeping your cool calm and like just not letting any of that what's your sign inside. I'm a Capricorn. Oh, Michelle okay. Obama okay. would be proud of you when they go low. You, you went, went high. high. No, no, no. But that's one of my like. You could say anything about mm -hmm. me. How much of it was like we did not want to stay there? And oh eat. well, a I lot was, of it was <laughs> that. Subconsciously, <laughs> afterwards, a lot of it was. It that. was great, like meeting everybody, and now we don't have to like make any more. Oh, but we small gave them talk. Where do you get your videos from? Oh, God, you know, where do you? You're, uh, you're, I have an idea for your skit. Uh, oh. Get something for your <laughs> act. Oh. Oh. God. My, my my niece is a magician. We well, should call her. You should call her. No, but there was a few seconds where I I honestly <laughs> just blacked out. Like I don't remember. Like I just vacuum in my yeah. And that's how then it's... and then the following Shabbat, we were in uh, we were in Las Vegas for yet another Shabbaton. Well, you're skipping over your what four sold out. Oh, we had LA four shows. sold out. No, we have Jake here. I'd rather, rather hear from him. <laughs> we had four amazing sold out shows in, uh, LA. in LA at the Laugh Factory. It was so good. It was a, a, a much younger audience shows. than usually. Yeah. Some of the best shows for sure. Um, the, uh, the were ticket, good. it was good. It was a hot ticket. It was a they hot ticket. No one could get tickets. The, the show sold out like in hours when we, and we kept adding and it was, uh, so thank you everybody from LA. You guys are amazing. What a diverse crowd it was too. Yeah. Young, old, religious, not religious. Olga was, Namer, also friend of the podcast, open for you. She Olga did a great Namer, job. Olga Namer is so in her head before a show. <laughs> yeah. We're in the green room. And she's just like writing down, like she's, she's doing 12 minutes max. You write, a, you know what cheat sheet is for a comic? It's like just, just the name of the bit. Okay. And she is writing her Haftorah out. <laughs> she's writing it. I shouldn't yeah. do this to two religions. They're not going to like that. They will like this. But I should do good. that. Is it that? I saw yarmulkes. I shouldn't do. I said, a pop, a pop. She was adorable. And she, she was Olga. She so so, so adorable funny. and she killed it and i loved her and she's adorable and she's killing it um and then we went to las vegas where i was invited to perform at the rjc the republican jewish coalition i was invited <laughs> and i went if the democrats want to invite me I will go there. If, if Al Qaeda, Al -Qaeda <laughs> wants to invite me, we're there. I check in a microphone. I know that's where you were going with that. I check in a microphone and I'm there. It's the most. To be fair, I didn't know the lineup when I said yes to this. Exactly. What was the lineup? Well, my dear Jake. Bra brace yourself. Um, Friday night. Mike Pence. Ooh. Friday night. Mike Pompeo. Oh, Ron wow. DeSantis. Nikki Haley. Uh. Trump was beamed in. Trump did an interview did a, live and they, they interviewed him. Netanyahu was beamed in. And, and but, Kanye but like, but West. Live, but, but live, but live. And they, David Duke. <laughs> and yeah. by the way, at the Shabbat table, Leah was with me and we sat next to Matt Brooks, who was the, who's the head of it. He is the head of the, of the Republican Jewish coalition. In my opinion, I think he was the most powerful guy in the room, more than the politicians. Because there's no politician that he would call and they would not answer his call. So it's, it's us, his wife, who looks like a Jewish version of anybody you'd see doing the news on Fox. Mm -hmm. Is that a good? That is an amazing analogy. Yes. Okay. She's Jewish, but like still has that like cleavage and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. she's, and, and they couldn't have been nicer. They couldn't have been nicer. This is your husband, and this is this. And he showed me a picture of his. Oh, do you know who was nice who pissed me off? 
Kellyanne Conway in the green room was a nice human being. Oh, for the she love She was so of charming. God. So charming. I know. You don't want to like you her. You know who else was really nice and charming? Oh, God. Ted Bundy. No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> she was nice. I, I didn't think she was so going to be nice. Sweet. Oh, we couldn't wait to meet Leo. And was so, and he showed me pictures. They're all showing us pictures of whoever's gay in their lives. Oh, know, naturally. They're all like, but like so yeah. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And all these politicians with whatever they're. That's not just Republicans. That's they every, just, every Jew. All, they're all up there, and um, and we're we're at the, the main table. The head of the of the RJC is at this table, and he, people coming over to curtsy, and you can smell the money in the room. <laughs> you can there's money in this room. Yeah, everyone's deciding who they're it gonna was, back. In in Yiddish, you say tuches lekin. When you when you kiss ass, but like kishin tuches means kiss my ass, but. Tuches lechens when you lick someone's ass. Like Put the, that on your T-shirt, to Jay. Get, yeah, you got to get, it. <laughs> to get. So all these politicians. This is the first, the first stop on the campaign trail. Right. And the first thing they did was come to kiss the Jews' ass to give them the money. So each Jew is choosing who he's going to get behind. And um, I'm going to go throw up. Oh, Let me tell you something. Like, Let me tell you but something. But at the same time, I also. I also think it's important that we we know like what's behind the curtain. Yes, exactly. That's yep. why I was like sitting there trying to absorb and just listen to their talking points. And what were their talking so points? So mainly, mainly Israel. 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 Of course. Israel. Period. Period. Israel. Period. Okay. And, and what each Ron DeSantis, I've outlawed uh, Florida from doing co uh, business with companies that support the BDS movement. Um, I've done funding for this. Everything was about Israel. When Mike Pence tried to throw out the and we overturned Roe versus Wade, he abortion you thing, weren't there for you weren't there for you were not there for him. But he didn't get a clap. No, no, no. You so said. so they're monitoring everybody by the amount of claps they're getting. Yeah, they're literally these people. It's like a laugh a meter. Yes, it's like yeah. There's and like that's why Israel needs to be blah blah blah. Yeah. And that's why we need to make sure that blah 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 for the really Jewish people. Yeah. Standing ovation. Standing ovation. Like, and that's why I blocked any college getting uh, funds if they allow anti-Semitism to reign. Okay. Boom. That kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. and get and then. Pence was the only one that hit, and we now have made the um, the Supreme Court where they value life, no clap. The Jewish people at this event did not care about abortion, they cared only about Israel, but he threw that out there, bam, left them, left them all hanging. Um, he, they left him hanging. He's, he's a little creepy, a lot. He's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That yeah. doesn't that sound like a shock. Um, Mike Pompeo had jokes. He had jokes, and uh, that gets me. He had someone wrote <laughs> jokes for him. He's, he's a man that like, he had like, he said that oh he could because Pence was there. You have to, and I'm following the whole thing. Just just so that's yeah. So all this is happening, Modi. and then you and then and here's Modi. And here's Modi. Yes. And here's literally. Modi. literally, Ron DeSantis, and here's Modi. Do you throw in any? Politic, like political jokes into your mix if you're doing something like that? I, I, um, like the, the, you, do you well, make it into like a little well, White on. House correspondence? Nikki, there? <laughs> Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley basically announced her, uh, the, her candidacy on this, on this thing. Yeah, the people organizing the event didn't know she was going to do that. She pulled a stunt and she came out looking amazing. So, Leon, but, so now keep in mind, this is now two days with, with these people at the, t at the table. And they realize that we don't know anything about politics. Which is chic. Which is we don't know. <laughs> they, they're like, oh, this, you know, in, the, in New Hampshire, they, 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 they didn't win it, but they did win that. And there's a 38% on this and the midterm debt. And we have no idea. At one point, he turns to us, at, uh, Matt, and goes, do you guys follow politics? And in unison, we go, we follow RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> there you go. That was, that's that's it. all that's we follow. It. And no, I, so listen, that's so political though. They RuPaul play, is political. They play a little sizzle reel before each of these people did their did their their thing and like beautiful cinematic like propaganda. And Nikki Haley's goes on right, and she's doing this, and she's at a disaster da, site, and da, she's doing this, da. and there's a brief glimpse of her at a formal event wearing this very distinctive dress. Blah 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 blah. blah. She comes on stage. She She's on the same dress. She's wearing the same dress that was in her Ooh. scissor reel. And Modi goes, she looks good. She must not have scared all the gays out of her life. <laughs> and I go, yeah, but they're B-level gays because that dress was in her sizzle reel. So we, I we said, to, so I said to Matt, that. I said to Matt, make sure whoever your little candidate is, make sure the wife or the candidate has somebody gay in their lives to pull it together. 
Well, yeah, she looks mean, good. You, you're like helping these people. Like, no, pull I don't want to stare at some hideous first woman. I don't want to. And, and it's okay. and I, I, uh, you know what? I said to them at the end. I said to them, in my own way, you know, I, the word Jewish was there. It was a Republican Jewish coalition. I'm going. Don't forget the number one thing of Jewish is Mashiach. Mashiach energy for the world. So whoever you get behind, make sure there's Mashiach energy behind them. There wasn't a lot of Mashiach energy in the there room. Are people that, listen, a lot of things happened. Oh, a lot of things happened. They all harped on what they did for Israel in the past four, in the in the years that Trump right. was there. It was a room of single issue voters and it's what everyone done. But a lot of voters are single issue voters. And listen, you know, until the abortion thing you said, I was like, maybe I'm actually a Republican. Hmm. Do you <laughs> struggle, I'm Jake? Kidding, I ask. I ask all of our guests, uh, but especially people like you who have a large online following. Yeah. And you're Jewish. Yeah. How do you deal with? You know, I'm sure you get anti-Semitism in your DMs or in your comments. I mean, constantly. What? What, what, do, you, what do they say? What I mean, it'll be like it was a like round challah for Rosh Hashanah. Where it just becomes like a bombardment of like free Palestine and like Holocaust right. jokes, and it's just like there's no, there's nothing you can do, and and especially it's like whenever I'm in Israel, then it's it, then people are like, wow, you support this because there's this idea that we live in this time where Jewish stuff is okay as long as it's like not associated not Zionist. with Zionism, and at yeah. the end of the day, it's like the majority of Jews, myself included, are proud Zionists and whatever definition that means, at least support the existence of the state of Israel. Mm -hmm. And that is like, it's a non-starter for people. And yeah. instead they would rather spend their time trolling you and. Right. And just, how do you, yeah. so you're you kind of in a similar space. Just, delete, right? Delete. Yeah, that's it. Or it's not like even whether, delete. Yeah. You, 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 want, you, you want into, into it with somebody recently, but. So my new thing is um, I, cause I'm on your account and my account. And what I'll do is I'll argue with people from my account and then get them into a good place and then go on your account and block them. So I get the last word. That's fair. That's good. Um, I, I think that you, but do you feel like you're in a, in, as a, you know, you have a husband, you're part of the LGBT yeah. community and you're also proudly Jewish. Do you find that it puts you in this weird place politically? Like how would you feel being in that room that we were in, in Las Vegas? I probably w wouldn't be in that room. I just probably wouldn't. I didn't think I was going to be in that in, room. In a room like that, I think that I think it's mainly just like politics in general is not same. I just We're think not that into it's, politics I think, I think at it's, all. It's all. I'm a big believer in supporting and uplifting the people that actually know what they're doing, and we have many friends in, especially gays in the the political world, that focus specifically on. The issues at hand and how to make sure that races turn out that best represent mm. us and our country and our people and i would rather support them and donate to them and give them a, a little platform boost whenever i can mm -hmm. and not speak on things that i know That's nothing about well i think said. we live in a, in a time in which everyone's expected to have an opinion on every single thing and every single travesty and we keep talking about these unprecedented times we live in we're not in unprecedented times we're in the, this this mission this has been happening forever it's just this is the time in which it's in your face every yeah, second right. of the day I, and this is like we are we are animals people seem to think that we are these 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 intelligent creatures that can just like transcend everything and create this utopia no man is greedy it's this whole thing of like why like when i think about judaism and and what's so important to me about it, and even this concept of jewish food it's like mm -hmm. everything i do is about jewish food jewish food is nothing without the ritual it's attached to because at the end of the day it's like when people are like oh i'm culturally jewish i just i love matzo ball soup or i love this or that and it's like that that's great but that's not that's not judaism judaism this food is is a, is a vessel for the ritual for the traditions for these conversations on morals and ethics that are what make our people so special and it's not saying that wow. these are unique to Jews. Anyone can have a conversation on morals and ethics. Anyone can create something around, uh, I don't know, a, a tradition. But like to me, I just think of Seder. Seder is like we are gathering every year, like gather all your family, and we are going to talk about systems of oppression and what it's like to be a slave and how important freedom is. And wow. it's just like we should be doing that. In whether you are very religious or very secular, you can be doing these things and making it work for yourself. And I think what you said about like, as a gay Jew, 
I'm already breaking the rules. I'm, it's you're like, not, I'm, you're I, not, you're not. For, for a specific group of people in our community. Oh no. Already breaking the rules. Absolutely not. Stop mm, that. I think so. I, Who's I'm rules? kind of with him. I I'm think, not. But, it, but I think the point is, is oh that my you God. start to realize that once, not that, maybe that's not the right terminology. Once it is you, not. Once you, not breaking the rules, once you deviate from tradition, and realize that all is still the same and good and full of, of Mashiach energy, then what else in my life is not necessarily still serving that can be modernized? Because I think that's the big conversation with everything in Judaism is, is this this push and pull. And I just, I mean, I just, I'm very emotional because I saw Fiddler in Yiddish last night, which was incredible. Oh, and the whole idea about it is this idea of tradition versus modernity mm -hmm. and the way that you fight and you look at this story about a father who who begins to really give his daughters freedom and the fact that he wants them to be happy but at the cost that one of his daughters runs off and marries a goy mm -hmm. one of his daughters uh, like they they're going they're breaking from tradition and doing their own thing and it's that constant conversation of what is what is the best for the Jews? What is the best for your family? What is the best for yourself? And there's no like one answer. There well, is there if if somebody is gay and Jewish, you are allowed and you should, if you want, to do anything that is available to you in the Jewish religion. If you want to put on tefillin, if you want to cook kosher, if you want to make a seder, if you want to invite people for Shabbat, you can do it. If you want to keep kosher or not keep kosher, you can do anything you want. You can put on tefillin every morning if you want. If you're gay, it's not a problem. The only thing you're not allowed to do is kill yourself. You are not allowed to commit suicide. Whatever anybody says to you or makes you feel like you're you're deviating from the past, from the path or whatever it is, that's, that's their, that's their horrible evil coming in. That's their demons that they can't control. If they're telling you that you're doing something wrong because you're gay and you shouldn't keep Shabbos and you shouldn't be with this person, should, it's their horrible demons coming at yeah. them. You can do whatever you want. It's not the chosen people, it's the choosing people. And whatever you do, choose to bring Mashiach energy. And the only option that, that, that's not on the table is killing yourself. Like that's that. the well, only, no, I, I, only option. I want to give a quick shout out uh, to Karen from the event at, in Las Vegas, <laughs> who is, is a oh uh, loyal listener who found us in the crowd, came up to us, <laughs> And was like our little guardian angel throughout the event and was like, this is that person. From this is who She lives in Maryland, Karen. Uh, she listens to the show and, oh my God. and she was at this event in Vegas. So I just wanted to quickly give her a little shout out for her just, walk while she's listening just to this. Just a setup of the room. Massive ballroom. <laughs> Massive. A thousand people? seats. A thousand seats. This insane stage politically, like the flags, the thing, the flag waving and the video, the whole nine yards and these tables. Up front of the table of the, like the money. Then you have the, you know, and they have students and they have this and people who are so into politics. And every two minutes, some little girl, a teenage girl comes running over. Oh my God, we love the podcast. And they go, that's Leo. Leo! <laughs> I, I, I had clout at the Jewish Republican you, Coalition. I wrote to you one time. I was going to take a test. What did she say to you? She was like, I, I failed a test because I was listening to all the podcasts. Oh, my God. I was that's like, that's she, you, was honey. Binging, she was binging the, the podcast and she didn't study for her test. And she's Stay like, told Leo all of this. And then no, like, I had, to, I had to grapple with, with the fact that I had more clout at the Jewish Republican Coalition than mm -hmm. anywhere else I've been recently. <laughs> So that was a hard reality to face. But um, also just a side note, that was my first time in Las Vegas and I Ew, never, ever, wow. ever want to go Ew, back. No, it's the worst. It was like I was in a commercial for type 2 diabetes medication. <laughs> That's what it felt like. It was, it was so, so scary. I told you the best thing in Las Vegas is gone and it was the Liberace Museum. It was uh, like I really forgot. unsettling. I forgot. I it was I unsettling. Forgot. I forgot. Have you been? We had, yes. I mean, it's so my gross. husband's family. They're, I mean, they're they're Persian Iraqi Jews. They they love. They all have like we get. They all they do is go and they just play the slot. Oh, they do the gambling. Oh they, like, we didn't put down a single dollar on any I'm of the machine. So nauseous. And by the way, we you posted uh, that we did. Um, you posted me like 
ranting about yeah, not gambling yeah. and someone goes um hey you should uh, stick to to comedy not be a rabbi and i wasn't being a rabbi i was telling you my version Whatever. of it and by the way the rabbi that they had why why there's this rabbi that's like a, he's a speaker people Shabbaton. bring him at the Shabbaton. the guy literally does shtick he tells jokes and at the end says and that's why moses went down the mountain <laughs> like literally he does jokes and then it was i watched him give the sermon uh friday night it was like he's doing shtick um and it kills and people love it and that and it's great so whoever wrote that to me and speaking um, of casinos yes oh. december 1st 2nd and 3rd modi and perio will be at uh comics roadhouse in mohegan sun in connecticut party um uh, so get your tickets You're welcome to come <laughs> <laughs> oh my god please bring alex we have th- baruch hashem baruch hashem baruch hashem every show we put out in hours boom, sold, sold out. out london five shows boom an hour sold out we just put a canada boom sold out right away me and me and periel are performing <laughs> together no they're not not sold they're out they're not not sold out there's but people it's there like it's, it's, but we have tickets left it, that's all i'll say there are still tickets left guys <laughs> did you know how leo let me tell you how leo goes he goes I like when it sells out. It's like it's like when, when you have a, a paper due at school and you've already written it. You don't, it's not sitting on the back of your head. That's how I feel. That's right. how he feels. Yeah, yeah. So no, when a show that. is sold out. Please come to the shows. If you need tickets and you can't afford it, just DM Leo. I, I want the room full. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not right. Okay, I'm we'll kidding. talk. Um, um, how are we on time? I'm so sorry. I didn't see when we began. We're good. What, what, we started at 2.34. You, we have... Oh, two thirty-four. Yeah. So, so we're almost done. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Who's your rabbi? All right. So we're we're looking for what our forever synagogue congregation. When I say rabbi, it's not your rabbi of your synagogue. You who is? You had him on the many, podcast. Many, many. Mike Solomonov. Oh, really? Yes, no. Biggest, biggest match. No, truly. He's so sweet. Such a match. And did you, did you hear him on on this yeah, podcast? Yeah. How he went off on the spices and. It's so amazing that that's like where the, his Judaism comes through and yours too. Yeah. It's, Your it's, whole. And this world of people. And again, uh, Alex hates it because I'm always like focusing on like, oh, the Jews, the Jews are so great. Jews are so great. But the, the Jewish people in the culinary world, Mike Salamanov, Adina Sussman, uh, Leah Koenig, everyone is just like so supportive of each other because I really think that there's this idea like rising tide lifts all ships. And mm-hmm. it's about like, being good for the Jews, supporting the world, loving and celebrating Jewish food. And with that, like everyone is just so it really is good for each other. It's so good. And, you know, we have um, a, a friend of ours. Jack Snacks. Mm-hmm. Am I saying no. it right? Yeah. You know her? Oh, no. I don't know. Who you're... Jack Snacks. Jack Snacks. Yeah. She's someone else she, was telling me about her. What is this word? Jack, Jack snacks. Snacks. Like Jacqueline's snacks. Jacqueline's snacks. But Jack's She's like with an X. She, she is. You were telling me about she is. She do, does these desserts. She cooks them and your, like her videos. She's literally in her a bikini. It sounds <laughs> like I was going to a say bikini. it sounds like a porn name. No, no, Jack no, 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 She's a very good friend. She's a, she's the daughter. She's a friend. She's a friend of ours, and she's a friend of I'm um, friends with her father. And uh, and she she cooks kosher desserts, delicious. And she cooks them all in like like a crop top. Everything's here rolled. You know the the sweater pants rolled down. Karbach music in the back. You know you know all that. You know and she's like cooking and making the this thing. And it's it's adds her connection to Judaism too. And she's, um, it, it, it's, it's amazing. You, Hello Dolly, all of that. Uh, hello, Hello Holly. <laughs> Holla Dolly. Dolly. Hello Dolly. Oh my amazing God, Dolly. So dyslexic. I know. Um, it's, and seeing people get so excited about Jewish food is like, that's everything. Okay. That's so now everything. who, on that with that, who was your rabbi? Mike Sol- Solomonov. Mike Solomonov. Um, and, and then. You, the synagogue, you belong to some fancy synagogue that no, you need to know go, people. Go to yeah, you go to like the Soho Central, House of Synagogues. We go to Central for high holidays. We're, we, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and, and I hope someone hears this from there so that they can like, like I've been on the wait list now for two years. <laughs> I'm a little over it now. It's like, get it together, together You're very people. welcome to come to Sixth Street Synagogue where the vibe is on. I will say after everything that with the, the one at Stryker Center and like Temple Emanuel is just like so gorgeous and big. 
I need to experience a little bit more of like. Oh, you, you're, you're invited to Shabbat to our our synagogue. Yes. You'll love Shabbat. it. You'll love it with Gav, our, our rabbi. You'll love it. Um, so that's who's your rabbi. Uh, a and H, thank you very much for sponsoring the podcast. And everybody, if you're getting a hot dog or anything else over there, it's so delicious. It's We've delicious. had. We, we, we ate it. It was the so good. The knack worst, especially. I, 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 I told you, I gave, we gave it to our trainer. We gave it a big package that he gave us. I gave it to our trainer, who is Ukrainian, who's called and goes, I've never had such food. This is the most delicious knack worst or whatever the hell was in so, there. So good. Um, Everything you know, sold out, so out. there are no tickets. No, to we have, I, let me... <laughs> No, no, Jake, you let the people know what they where yes. they can find. I mean, everyone knows who you, you. Everyone knows Wake you. and Jake. Oh my God, I love um, it. Wake and Jake. Yeah, I it's Jake Cohen wherever uh, selling challah and babka and black and white cookies. And now on Gold Belly. On Gold wow. Belly. Wow. Yeah. Yes. All kosher and parv, which was super important. Um, Who, who's wow. giving you hashgacha? Did you get hashgacha? Yeah, it was. It was. It was. That was. A, it's a thing. That was a thing. Um, yeah, that was the thing, but we did it because it was, it's important. I'm not personally kosher, but to me, it's like, if I'm going to be doing this and selling this, I want every Jew to be able to like enjoy it. Oh, um, that's, that's so Mashiach nice. energy. But that's Mashiach it. That's energy. It. To each their own. Can, you know, can we just change, can I just, I have, an, I have a, uh, a moment here. You know, we don't, we never have a, like what, what this podcast is. Like it's, it's me, it's, and here's Moniz, because usually that's how I'm introduced after some horrible yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. Or Ron DeSantis. Like, here's, like, like, here's, 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 here's kids with cancer, and here's Modi. That's why I, I or here's so Mike Pence. A discussion <laughs> of what is and isn't Mashiach energy. Okay. That, is that okay with you? We'll talk about it. Um, I want to <laughs> get into just a quick plug for shows. Uh, as I mentioned, December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Comics Roadhouse in Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. December 1st, 2nd, 3rd, Comics Roadhouse. If you're in Connecticut or nearby, we're there. She is going to be, oh, Periel's opening. I'm opening. That, I'm looking forward. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I am looking. The chosen comedy you've never seen. Let Schmutz. me get through this. Schmutz Let me get through on, this on, on another level. Look okay. ahead. The chosen comedy festival in Miami, uh, December fourteenth. You so were there jealous. for the first one, so Jake. Jealous. You I saw would come it. Down and, to see it again. You Amazing. saw it in Brooklyn. It's Amazing. a good thing. You don't. And wanna... you have friends that are already on the list. I know. Yeah. Well, you know, and he's like a. We'll tell him after, but he's like he's a big he's a big guy. Okay. Um, good. Um, uh, you're gonna be at Uncle Vinny's in New Jersey, uh, December sixteenth and seventeenth. Those are sold out. Uh The holidays <laughs> show December. December 22nd, 24th, 25th, 26th, those are sold out. Um, Boca Black second. Box in January yes. sold out. Modi and Palm Beach, February 2nd. That's about a little over halfway sold out. So if you're listening in Palm, near Palm Beach. Beach. And if you saw the graphics that Leo made for me in that thing. Oh, it's a, they're incredible. <laughs> um, they're, I'm not making them, I but I'm like, like I am the just, head of some real estate group holding up a palm tree. They're amazing. The, the shows in London are February 28th through March 2nd. There's uh, that's We have one show left that has like eight. It's about 85% sold out. And then I just want to plug uh, Tempe, Arizona. Uh, my phone's not working. Uh, Tempe, Arizona, March 12th. And then you have your Montreal show, March 22nd. And Toronto, March 23rd. We just added a late show for Toronto. Oh, we did. And yeah. as as of right before we started filming this, there was only a few seats left for that. So we're probably going to add more. Yeah. Okay, so Toronto. And... Oh, and I'm doing a show on December 11th with Zabar's. Old Jewish man. An old Jewish man called Deli Laps. And I go to him, oh, do you want to do the show? And Leo writes back and he goes, I'm not going to be here, but Modi's going to be in town. Two seconds. I'm going to pass on the Zabar show. I'm doing a Zabar <laughs> show. I'm thinking you're in Zabar's. I don't want to perform and hearing. People buying salamis. And then I go, oh, we got a little write-up in the New York Times. And no, I didn't. You took no, them. You're I, doing it at Stand Up New York. It said Stand Up New York. Yeah. A write-up in the Times for me is going to do nothing. But then nothing. you're like. And sure, I, I did just go to the That's the not one. true. It sold a lot of tickets, the write-up no, in but the not, Times. But I, I, not I, free I'm doing it. If it's a fun show, I'm there. Okay. But I thought, I didn't know it was a comedy club. Okay, I fair enough. I don't want to perform fair at Fair enough. Uh, I'll let you two sort this out because yes. I'll be in Florida. I just went to the comedy um, overground underground at Katz's. At Katz's. Oh, how was it? Incredible. Yeah, Mark Norman guys, was there, right? He was the beyond. funniest. He's, He's so, so good. Beyond. He so just good. got married. I mean, Mazel tov, Mark. I mean, I love Jesse. I think Jesse Kirsten is. Oh, she's oh, yeah, one of the best. Jessica's she amazing. will be on the, the Chosen Comedy Festival Chosen in Miami comedy. December 14th. I saw December her, 14th. Judy. Mm -hmm. I, saw, I mean, it's like, oh, I mean, I'm friends with just, I feel like when you're in New York, 
in LA, everyone's like an actor, but in New York, all your Jewish friends are either in theater or they're comedians. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's true. So Speaking true. of Judy, that was how I found you, or you found me. I found I. So I baked. Um, I've become friend, close with Judy and her her wife, and her wife texts me like she's we're doing the surprise sixtieth birthday roast for Judy. Which was in the works. So I'm very close with Judy, but I'm also very close with her son. So this was in the works for months. Judy's surprise 60th birthday roast. So she had no idea. She had no idea. idea. When was this? This was last week. Last Tuesday. We were away. And, I called her. Wow. Um, and so her, her wife is like, will you make her, bake her cake? I was like, oh my God, oh. of course. So I baked her cake, brought it. Um, and then we're sitting there and all of a sudden, I hear the voice. I hear ah. Periel's voice. And I was like, I, I just went up and introduced myself because it's, it's like, and I, have, so I mean, I, I, I think we both have that like Fran Drescher quality to our voice <laughs> that's so distinct. I get it all the time. It's the, 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 the comparison I get most. Oh is that, I mean, I'm from, I'm from the so same funny. area, Queens as her. So it's just like. You're from Queens too? I'm, I'm from Queens. Oh, Queens. Oh, Rego, Bayside. Rego Park. Rego. Oh I knew, my I knew God. This. I, that's why it's like I said, the Fran, that's why we sound like that's Fran Drescher. So it's funny. Queens, so funny. New York accent. And people don't know the differences between Queens and Long Island and Jersey. Oh my so God. Distinct. I immediately loved him. The cake was so insane like next level delicious of course it was. and henry gets on stage and he goes and henry has a brother and he goes i thought that i was judy's favorite son until she met jay cohen <laughs> oh wow <laughs> funny that's good he's so cute and sweet yes All i right. was yes i'm not gonna say it um Amazing. I called Judy, <laughs> happened to have been the day before her birthday, because I saw her on CNN yes. after something happened. It was the Kanye. Oh, no, no Dave the, Chappelle. Dave yeah, Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yes. So she, I called her, I said, I have no idea what you said, but you looked adorable. You had the <laughs> big, I have no idea. I was on, I was on the earphones, and I, I was at the, uh, she was on the screen, and I just, she just looked nice with these big glasses yeah. and the, a black shirt. She looked good. I, I don't know what you said, but you looked good. And she said, you know, and she said, you know, I'm turning 60 tomorrow and I'm still working this. I'm still working that. I didn't think I'd be where I am right now. I thought it'd be a lot better now. <laughs> I know, Judy, you have amazing kids. You have a career. People love you. You have that it's house truly. in, in, uh, in P-Town. Um, P-Town. And there's a, uh, yeah, but I didn't think like at 60, I'm doing this. It's and a, you're doing better than me. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that you're doing better than me. She literally said that. Yeah, that uh, is so perfect. It's so perfect. That's, Judy, we love you. And when is she coming on yeah, the podcast? Judy needs to get on All here. All right, we'll get her on. She will be so we'll abusive. Uh, she'll, we have to oh, put her so in her own chair. Like, <laughs> Wait, so uh, just we have to make sure that we hang out before uh, the our December 23rd Shabbat and yes. that we get FaceTime in with our other housemates yes, who are going to well, be spending the we summer don't with. We don't at. want it to be like real world. Right. We just show up. Periel, will you start. come out to Fire Island and we this can do a live recording of the broadcast? How old are you? I'm, Don't a, I'm, a I'm a child. We'll bleep this out. Why is that? Is that it's such younger old, than me. It's such an old show. The and real no, world. No, no, no. It's, 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 I am like a, I was of like Dustin Zito, like what was it, New Orleans and Vegas. I wasn't allowed to watch Real World. Real World. No, the, there was this one, there was You're this gay porn not. star. I'm still not. This, this gay for pay porn star. What's was that? On, did, did, I remember his porn name was Dustin Zito. And he was on <laughs> Real World. It was whole thing because it came out while I was on the show that he did gay porn. <laughs> And, oh, wow. and that was the whole kind oh, of so breakdown. Real World kept going Real after kept I going. watched it. I was, my childhood was Flavor of Love, I Love New York. Oh, these oh are all. Oh my God, oh my I God. loved no. that I love, show. I love Tiffany New York. Tiffany Pollard? Tiffany Pollard. Tiffany no, she is a gem. H-P-I-C Pollard. She's a, she invented She's reality icon. TV. Oh, she was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we love Okay, her. thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> on uh, this was a good one. This was a good one. Jake, you have you can come back anytime. Yeah, whenever any you truly, want. Whenever you want. And you, you can bring a cake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I came here with the the fillet, the hands. His hands are flying all over. I'm, I was waiting. I was saying. a short cupcake. Something was gonna. I didn't eat before. I figured he's gonna come with a little rugula. That is the, nothing. Came in, fillet the hands. I'm hands swinging all over mode. the place. I'm, yeah, no, that is. So true. thank you for listening to and here's Modi. A discussion about what is and what isn't Mashiach. Energy. Oh, and wherever you're listening this to this podcast, if it's on Apple Podcast or Spotify or wherever, uh, 
there's a little rate button and you can uh, rate the show, give it five stars, please be nice, because then it helps feed the show to new listeners and that way it will help continue to spread Bashiach energy. Amen. 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 That's good. Bye, We're everybody. good. That was okay, fun. Bye. <laughs>